What's up, world? Summit Fitness coming at you with another video. Where we're going to talk about the most famous exercise with the kettlebell, and that is the swing. So, what's up with the swing, and why is it amazing? First and foremost, you're training your posterior chain through a dynamic fashion with multiple reps. So you're literally stimulating this whole entire powerhouse. Everything athletic pretty much comes from your backside. Power, sprinting, running, jumping, leaping, throwing a punch, and hip snaps. So let's get right into it. First and foremost, uh, there are two styles with this. Today we'll go over the hard style uh, kettlebell swing. And then there's the soft style, which I'm actually practicing more of um, in terms of uh, doing a certification with the IKFF. But this swing is all, you know, practice makes perfect and perfect practice makes perfect technique. So I'm still working with things, but I really enjoy this uh, new form of training in addition to my calisthenics. So first and foremost, your setup with the kettlebell before I actually start swinging. I enjoy this setup. I actually get my heels in front and then from that point on, I just walk backwards like so and thus I've created a triangle and here hips back you hinge hamstrings are already on glutes are on grab the kettlebell from here roll the shoulders back And the kettlebell comes back right to uh, the starting position. So it's the hip snap and the hip extension and the tightening of the glutes, the contraction of the glutes that sends the kettlebell going up. It's not the, the arms that are contracting it. I also like to keep my elbows locked. Um, some people do a T-Rex arm kind of thing. Truth be told, I don't really see too much value in that. I do like the arms locked. It makes my hips work much more. Now let's talk about depth. This one I picked up from Steve Cotter, who uh, has this drill in which you have another kettlebell underneath you, so that that way your squat or your kettlebell swing, excuse me, doesn't turn into a squat. Some people get too low into the swing um, exercise, thus transforming it into kind of like a kettlebell squat, which you don't want. So this is to prevent you um, from actually hitting the kettlebell in and of itself. So it teaches you. Uh, how to focus on better reps. So here's what not to do. When I get into my swing, I get lower and lower, and then you get so low to the point that bang, you hit it. Or some people end up like this, which is usually the case, and they have their chest hovering over, and then this falls over. So that's the whole purpose of having the kettlebell behind you, um, or in front of you rather. And I really like this drill. It keeps your reps more honest um, and a little bit more uh, of the same. <clears throat> and another drill that I picked up on, uh, this I learned from Tom Liang, uh, an amazing strong first kettlebell coach in New York City who trains at Transform GST. So shouts out to you, Paul, and the whole team. Um, this one is really cool. They start off with these yoga blocks and what I like is you can turn the kettlebell swing kind of into a, a, a stop and go. Kind of what you do with deadlifts. You don't always, you don't bounce the weights off the floor using the momentum to pick it up. You pick up the weight strong and as fast as you can, and then you, you snap it back, you know? You pretty much want to snap the weight in front of you and then drop it down with some control. This I like because it just brings you back to the same position. So I'll do it with the one hand. Notice my arm behind me, I'm gonna swing it forward, everything is in unison, and and then I come back, and I'm right here. Hips loaded, come back, right here. I could even go from switching hand to hand, and then bam, bam. So, this one I really like because it, sh it shows you what's really working. You really, really feel, because your hamstrings are constantly on, on, on the load and your hips always have to work, you feel the muscles that need to do the job, you know? So this one isn't too bad for going slower, getting more patient with the technique, 
The other one is much more keeping the reps uh, with rhythmic fashion and uh, much more of a ballistic snap because you aren't stopping. So this is just a couple of thoughts and ideas, but use the kettlebell. If you haven't touched it, I'm one of those people who's really late into the game, but I have to tell you, it is a game changer for me. So hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. More videos coming to you. Peace and blessings.